All right, this is Old Newbie from the Old Newbie VR Show, where we talk about VR from the business perspective. But today, I just got a quick video that I wanted to do where the Old Newbie reviews. Matter of fact, uh, I was just at my local micro center and I decided to uh, pick up a uh, water cooling kit. And I love uh, looking at things and being able to watch other YouTubers reviews on different products. But for this particular one, I couldn't find any. So I decided to go ahead and do my own. All right, so without further ado, I'm gonna queue up this video and uh, we will review this Bits Power Midnight Hardline water cooling kit. So without further ado, let's get into it. There you are. All right, so I'm gonna review this uh, Bits Power Midnight Water Cooling Kit. I was searching around online for information about it and I couldn't find any videos that uh, reviewed this kit. So I figured I'd go ahead and make my own. So I was wandering around uh, Micro Center, my local Micro Center, and I found this kit and um it was actually on sale it was an open box and um because i wasn't really needing a kit but i just wanted to get, dip my toe into uh doing some hardline tubing and i didn't want to do a whole system build um with all hardline tubing i wanted to start something small and i figured this kit would be the perfect thing for me especially with uh it being open box now this thing Actually, the MSRP for this thing is about $350, which is pretty, pretty expensive, but I got it open box for about 193 bucks. And I know there's some risk with getting open box and a lot of folks would be kind of worried about getting an open box water cooling kit, but this wasn't going to go on a main system. This was going to go on a secondary system, so I wasn't too concerned. And I've been building systems for about, you know, that's over over 15 years. So I'm not too concerned about the um, the difficulty in trying to get one of these things to work. Well, anyway, um, this kit, like I said, nobody was reviewing it and it's really hard to find online. I Google searched it and there wasn't anything there. So I just wanted to go ahead and contribute back to the community and do a, a, an open boxing on this thing. Those are old newbies' real hands. So as you can see, it's packaged really well. Um, it's got uh, you know, styrofoam packaging and everything in here looks uh, pretty pristine, uh, even for being uh, an open box. Somebody must have just got this and then returned it right away. Um, everything is still wrapped so to go through real quick you got all of your fittings here one thing that I left out uh, with regards to the fittings there's actually six fittings st six straight through fittings there's two um, rotator fittings and there is uh, I'm sorry there's one rotating fitting and there's two elbow fittings so that's two elbow fittings six straight through fittings and one rotator fitting and these are all they look like compression compression fittings and there's the uh, o-rings you get the CPU block Okay, one other thing that I forgot to mention in this video is that CPU block, it only comes with the brackets and as you can see for the um, the bracket around it is Intel. So this particular, um, this particular kit is for Intel and that's the, uh, see the 1150, 1150 series um, connector. I'm not an Intel. I'm an usually an AMD guy, but uh, but this is uh, Intel um, connections, and it does not have an AMD bracket in the kit. And this one looks like, even though it's the midnight kit, it looks like it's got uh, 
connection for RGB, so there's probably some lighting that comes out of here. Reservoir. The pump. And if you look and see here, the pump's got some uh, RGB uh, LED lighting there. Comes also with a uh, flow meter. RGB connector. Now this kit comes with a 240 millimeter red. Let's just take a quick look. Oh, it's kind of dark for you, but I can see it's copper. So it's a copper radiator, so that's good. Oh, and I also forgot to mention that the CPU block is nickel plated. So it's very nice, it's very smooth, nickel plated um, block, uh, nickel plated copper, so you should be good. It's, it's You don't have mixed metal system here. I'll just set that aside. And it comes with two RGB 120 millimeter fans. Now this is a digital RGB. See in the box, digital RGB, and these are the uh, five volt ones, not, not the 12 volt, whatever the other one is that's not 12 volt. So underneath here, you've got your back plate bracket. We've got some more. So that weird looking cross shaped thing, uh, I saw in the uh, instructions, that thing actually helps mount the, the reservoir to the radiator. It's a weird kind of thing where they actually put the reservoir next to the radiator. Me personally, I don't like putting the reservoir, mounting it next to the radiator because it blocks the airflow. But apparently that's an option if that's how you like to build your system or if you have like a compact system. Wiring and uh, mounting kit stuff. It comes with some uh, hex key wrenches in there. You got your reservoir clamps. Interesting. It also comes with a power supply um, jumper so that uh, if you want to run this thing and it's highly recommend that you run these things outside of your PC kit to make sure that uh, to do your leak testing. Um, they gave you a nice little uh, jumper for your power supply so you can actually power on this thing with outside of your, your case. And then we got the tubing. And this tubing as it says, uh, the kit is midnight, so this tubing is black. Let's see if I can find one that's open. So black tubing, so obviously you won't be able to see your fluid. This seems like a lighter type of plastic. Um, Definitely not acrylic. It's the uh, the other one, the PETG tubing. Very light, very plasticky. Definitely not acrylic. We'll have to see. And so that's it for the kit. You know, very simple. Uh, 240 millimeter CPU block uh, reservoir. The um, the pump seems pretty hefty. I almost forgot the. It did not. And it's got this little. Um, <laughs> for uh, putting the fluid into the system. A little turkey baster. So what's not in the kit, uh, speaking of the the fluid inserter, there is no fluid in the kit. So I know there are some other Bits Power kits that are out there that come with fluid. This one does not come with fluid. 
Um, it does not come with any other blocks besides the CPU block, so no GPU block. Um, although certainly this thing is uh, upgradable to if you buy other parts. And also, uh, what's also not in the box, if you saw or if you noticed, there are, <laughs> there are no instructions in the box. And I was reading on some of the forums, they actually said that, uh, you know, this was a common thing with these Bits Power kits, that they don't have any instructions in them. Um, and so you can see here, the in installation guide is a QR code, so that takes you to the website. So it, if you want to actually um, follow some instructions for building this thing, you, you got you to gotta go to the website. Which, uh, you know, if you're, if you're building a PC and uh, for the first time and you bought this kit to water cool your thing and you don't actually have a, uh, a PC to go online, you'll have to use your phone or whatever to, uh, to connect. All right, so that's it. Um, that's what comes in the box. It's Bits Power. Bits Power, um, they, they sell in Micro Center. Um, but they more are a uh, company that sells individual components. So like you would get a Bits Power a reservoir, a Bits Power um, radiator, the Bits Power uh, fittings. That's what they're known for selling. They sell water blocks and stuff. And so I guess they decided to go ahead and put all that stuff together and sell it all at once as a kit. Um, I don't know if I would pay $350 for this and I haven't done the math um, but I don't know if this kit is worth $350 um, just just to have a 240 millimeter radiator uh, and a CPU block and the uh, and the pump and an RGB having the digital RGB is pretty cool in the pump and in the fans but uh, again I don't know if you were to buy these components individually uh, I don't know how much of a savings you'd get for paying 350 bucks, or what the uh, cooling efficiency is of this thing instead of just getting a an all-in-one and uh, running one of those. But we'll see how it goes when I put it together. Uh, I may or may not make another video, but this is just for the uh, the internets, so um, we can add it to the uh, the collection of knowledge out there of uh, this Bits Power kit. All right, thanks for watching. All right, so uh, there you have it. There's my review of the Bits Power Midnight. Uh, it's on sale at, uh, in Micro Center. It's where I purchased it. And uh, no other reviews out there, so I went ahead and made my own. All right, so if you like that review, like and subscribe. And with that, we will cue up the music and let them play me out of here.